Well, let's start at the defensive end. We know what they can do at the offensive end in Golden State in that high-octane offense, but a lot of people do not give Golden State enough credit what they do defensively, especially during their championship runs. With, they knew coming into this series the focus was going to be on Luka Doncic, and rightfully so. And from the jump, Andrew Wiggins has taken the challenge a lot of times playing him solo one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know, I, if we're talking about game-to-game -game adjustments, I, I'm looking for the Dallas Mavericks and Jason Kidd tonight because we saw in that Phoenix series them really targeting Chris Paul, right, and those switches. And they had opportunities to target Stephen Curry. And for Golden State, they're doing a lot of hard showing on Curry's part and getting back to his man. I don't think Luka really took the initiative to attack Curry like he was attacking uh, Chris Paul. So I look for him to be a little bit more aggressive at trying to go at, at Stephen Curry. They did a good job of going at Jordan Poole, but Curry is the guy that they're going to have to try to put in that spin cycle. And speaking of that, Reggie, you talked about the Warriors' defense, but how big is it for the Warriors to turn it into easy offense? And I think that's where Dallas's transition defense wasn't ready for because Luka's seven turnovers made the Warriors get easy offense in the flow. Well, again, this series is going to be defined by pace. The Warriors, especially in this building in the Chase Center, they want to play fast. And you saw in that first half, when there was a miscue, when there was a turnover, it was off to the races, and they've got the thoroughbreds to do it. And you know that Dallas, they like to play very methodical. They want to take the air out the building, a lot of isolation basketball. So it's really contrasting styles. But in this building, Dallas is going to have to do a better job, number one, not turning the basketball over. I know they only had 13 turnovers, but seven by your playmaker in Luka Doncic, and that can't happen. Reggie, how does Dallas slow down the Golden State Warriors? We saw in that Phoenix series, uh, they were able to load up on Booker. Golden State, you obviously can't load up on them because they have so much more shooting. They have actually a big three. So how are they going to be able to slow these guys down? 56% is not going to cut. If Golden State shoots that well again at home, you know what that's going to be. Well, number one, if you're Dallas, you've got to make shots. <laughs> They're going to live and die from that three-point line. And they've got to be obviously more accurate. And it's when and how they're taking those threes. If they can find a way to make shots and make Golden State actually take the ball out of the net and set up, then that's going to be a win. But if they're going to clank and go seven for 29 in the first half from three, well, it's going to be off to the races for the Warriors. And, and Reggie, is the way that Jason Kidd gets Spencer Dinwiddie a little more involved, five of, ten, uh, five of 11 off the bench, but he's another guy you can put the ball in his hands and try to create a little bit more, take some pressure off of Luka. Spencer Dinwiddie is the third leading scorer in isolation basketball in these playoffs, about five a game. And you're right, 3D, he's going to be one of the catalysts, along with Jalen Brunson, guys that will take that pressure, that offensive pressure, off Luka. And there's words coming out that Luka's not 100%, may have had the flu or some type of food poisoning, was throwing up. So you, we are questioning a little bit of his health coming in here to game two. So what better way than to have Dinwiddie or Brunson, two guys that we know can give you buckets, those two guys, there's going to be focus on them to kind of carry the load offensively 